The technology required to land a probe on another world is mind-boggling. Here are the top five incredible probe landings. Just a few days ago, the Chinese National Space Administration successfully landed a probe called Chang'e 4 on the far side of the moon. Chang'e 4 has a built-in landing camera, and so the whole descent was captured on video. We've sped up the footage so you can see it clearly. First, the probe hovers several hundred meters above the surface of the moon, and finds an appropriate landing zone free from cliffs and boulders. Once a location is chosen, the probe zeroes in and makes a nice soft landing. Chang'e 4 will study the chemical composition of the lunar surface and analyze cosmic rays. In 2012, scientists successfully landed the Curiosity probe on Mars to learn more about the Martian climate and geology. This landing is very intriguing because the whole descent was captured on video. The first frames show the heat shield being jettisoned. The heat shield has already done its job by getting the probe into low atmosphere. The probe continues towards its landing site in Gale Crater. It is hypothesized that water deposits might exist in this crater, which is why it has been chosen as a landing site. The heat shield jettisoned earlier crashes into the Martian surface, kicking up dust. The descent continues. The final burn ensures a soft landing on the surface of Mars. Curiosity will later go on to gather significant amounts of scientific data, and is in fact still transmitting data even to this day. For number three, let's take a look at China's first ever probe landing on the moon, the Chang'e 3 mission. The Chang'e 3 is an earlier version of the Chang'e 4 we saw previously. With a landing mass of 2,600 pounds, Chang'e 3 carries scientific instrumentation that will study the lunar geology and composition. They plan to land the probe in Sinus Iridium, a lava-filled crater. However, the actual landing site was changed to the closely located Mare Ibrium lava plain. As you will see, the probe makes a hard landing on the surface. Its engines were actually shut off while it was still 3 meters or 12 feet above the surface. But thanks to the low gravity of the moon, a drop from 12 feet is actually survivable, and the Chang'e 3 was just fine. Two years after its landing on the moon, Chang'e 3 discovered a new type of basaltic rock rich in aluminite. The knowledge of its existence may prove crucial to future human exploration on the moon. Titan is a moon of Saturn that has intrigued scientists for its similarities to Earth. In 2005, the Cugens probe successfully made a landing on the mysterious moon. The video we're seeing here was rendered from the probe's onboard descent imager and spectral radiometer. Titan has a thick atmosphere, which makes landing a challenge. In fact, at the time, scientists were unsure if the landing site contained a large ocean or a more stable rocky composition, so a lot was left to chance. Titan does contain an abundance of liquid methane rivers and lakes, but thankfully the probe touches down in a stable location in the Zanadu region. As you can see, however, the probe did make a large bounce off the surface, but nothing that would cause any major damage. Hugens will later discover more about the moon's atmospheric and geological composition. The Rosetta spacecraft made history in 2014 after successfully landing on a comet billions of miles away from Earth. Décollage. The Rosetta mission was initially launched on March 2, 2004, by the European Space Agency. It traveled billions of miles through space over a 10-year period to chase the Churyumov comet down. Finally, in 2014, it reached its destination. Before the landing occurred, Rosetta underwent several burns to gain a stable orbit around the comet. While in orbit, the European Space Agency gathered invaluable scientific data. Several months later, they decided to attempt a landing on the comet. The battery was getting quite low on the Rosetta probe, so it was now or never. 
On the 12th of November 2014, Rosetta started its descent. Landing on comets or other small bodies is incredibly difficult since the gravitational pull comets have is very weak. To prevent Rosetta from literally bouncing off the comet, engineers fitted the craft with two harpoon guns which will actually be fired into the comet to force an attachment. Despite the challenges, Rosetta was able to successfully make a landing on the comet, the first time a comet landing has ever been done. Check out my previous video on the top 5 amazing things found on a telescope. And in the meantime, subscribe for more.